Hey everyone, Dusty here with another tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Twitter profile and privacy settings. Hopefully I'll have some timestamps down below so you can just go directly to what you are looking for. I'm going to be doing this on the desktop version of Twitter, but it's going to be very, very similar if you're on mobile, iOS, or Android. Uh, there'll be little gear icons to navigate to the settings, and then you just go to the Me option, which takes you directly to your profile. So it should be pretty uh, easy to follow along regardless of what device you are using. So first things first here, we are on our profile. You can see here, once we've logged into our Twitter account, you can see mine here. Uh, we're gonna see a big button on the desktop that says edit profile. If we click on that button, we are able to change all of the necessities here. We can click on the channel icon here and change our uh, image. If we wanna change our channel icon image, we can also change our background image by clicking the little camera icon there and then finding an image on our computer. Again, all of these dimensions are gonna be easily found on the internet, so go and find the dimensions. That way you can edit your images so they look the best when being viewed on Twitter. We can change our Twitter name right here. Uh, I've actually got a full tutorial showing you how to do that. I'll try to link that down below if I can. Uh, you've got your bio here where you can talk about yourself and what you do, uh, your location, and any associated websites. So once all of that is the way you want it to be, you can click save and the changes that you just made will go into effect. Now, the thing that you're probably here for are how to change or customize your privacy settings. That's a big thing with Twitter and Facebook, all these social sites. Um, on the desktop, go to more and then go to settings and privacy. On the mobile devices, when you're on your profile, click on the little gear or cogwheel icon. It'll take you to your settings and privacy as well. Now here on the settings and privacy, um, we're going to see a couple of different things. Under account here, we're going to see our username, the associated phone number, email, password, all of that good stuff. Uh, but if we go to privacy and safety here, uh, we're going to see an option that says protect your tweets. Only show your tweets to people who follow you. Now, generally on Twitter, if you create an account and you don't change this option and you don't click the checkbox here, this will only make your tweets visible to those people who follow you. Now, if people are thinking about following you or you want to, you know, it to be shown to everyone, you want to keep this unchecked. Um, location information, if we click here, uh, this will delete all location information uh, related to any tweets or information there. Uh, but if you have this checked here, it'll add location data if you're on a mobile device. Uh, normally, uh, that's, it's, that's done simply there. Uh, photo tagging, anyone can tag you. Uh, basically, uh, anyone can tag you in their tweets, only people who follow you. Again, this is where it gets a little bit uh, as far as the gray area is concerned. Uh, I have anyone can tag me. I've never had an issue where that to be a problem, but if you're worried about, you know, your job or your business, seeing your Twitter profile that people have tagged you in photos that you don't necessarily want out there, especially associated with your professional or brand Twitter account, you can uncheck this uh, to only be people who follow you or nobody can tag you by unchecking both of these options here. Now, direct messages, this is one for a business. Um, you'll be able to receive direct messages from anyone on Twitter. I, I recently changed this. I actually want this checked here. If you have this checked, it's obvious you will be able to receive any direct messages from anyone on Twitter. They don't have to follow you. You don't have to follow them back. Anyone can send you a DM or a personal message on Twitter. Twitter. Again, be careful with this one. You may start getting a lot of spam coming through your direct messages on Twitter if you don't do that. Quality filter. It filters lower quality messages from your DM request. It's kind of like a spam filter. Uh, I have that checked just because I've heard that it does its job pretty well. Uh, show read receipts. This should be pretty self-explanatory when you send a message or you receive one. It shows someone whether you've read it or it shows you whether someone has read it as well. Discoverability and contacts. I'm not really going to go over that right now. Under safety, display media that may contain sensitive content. Now, this is a question a lot of people ask. How do you display uh, you know, sensitive content? This may be nudity. This may be stuff related to, um, I'm not really going to get into it here, but you know exactly what sensitive content is. If you want that to come through your feed, you can check this here, and it will display media that may contain sensitive content like violence, uh, nudity, things like that. Uh, mark media you tweet as containing material that may be sensitive. If you know you're going to be publishing stuff out there uh, that other people is not you know, safe for work, you may want to you know, make that check there. Uh, under muted here, uh, you may have muted words that you don't want coming through your Twitter account, things like that. Uh, personalization and data. Now, this here is where all the personalization stuff on Twitter comes through. 
Um, if, I don't know if you know this, but social sites like Twitter, Facebook, places like that, they're using your data to send you and provide you personalized ads. If you read this here under personalized ads, you'll always see ads on Twitter based on your Twitter activity. If you don't like the thought of that, you need to uncheck this, okay? Uh, personalized based on your inf inferred identity. Twitter will always personalize your experience based on information you've provided. You're basically letting Twitter know all about you, and so they're providing your experience to you how they think that you would want it, right? Uh, based on the people you follow, based on pro possibly your history on your web browser, things like that. If you don't like the thought of Twitter doing all of that, I would uncheck all three of these options here. Now, uh, apparently, I don't have a problem with any of this stuff, and I let Twitter know everything and anything about me, so I keep those checked there. Um, and then data track where uh, you see Twitter content across the web. Uh, it's going to let, let you know Twitter know kind of where you see stuff from uh, Twitter on the, the internet through your web browser. Uh, and then you can share data with Twitter's business partners. I keep this uh, unchecked there. And then you can actually see your data. I'm not going to click that there if that's something that you want to do. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to show you is accessibility. Under accessibility, uh, these are just basically how, how you use and how you can view Twitter here under vision, under motion. You can go through here and check that out if that's something that you want to do. Now, if you have a question about anything else uh, regarding your Twitter profile or the privacy w within, please send me a comment down below uh, and let me know what you would like to know more about. I will try to get to those as soon as I possibly can, or someone in our community can respond to that down below in the comment section. If you have found some value out of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content just like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.